Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this fun little Easter card. I'm going to change the colour, I'm going to do um, mint macaroon this time. So to start with the card pieces you're going to need, for the card base this mint macaroon measures eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarters, scored at four and one eighth and folded. A piece of whisper white which measures four inches by five and five eighths. A piece of the birthday bouquet designer series paper which is in the new um, spring catalogue. Then another piece of mint macaroon and this measures three and a half by four and a half and three pieces of Whisper White. One that measures one and three quarter inches by five inches. A piece that's five eighths of an inch by four and a half inches and one piece that's five by one and a half inches. Now we need to use our Big Shot for two things so I'll get that bit done first. So I'll just bring the Big Shot up Okay, so the two things we need to do, let's put that there, we need to cut the aperture in the designer series paper. So I am using um, our oval framelits and I'm using numbers four and five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, those two in there. Um, the smaller the die, the smaller the number as far as I'm concerned. Always start counting from the middle. And for this, Part, it's going to be uh, die number four and I'm just looking at what I think is to be the um, middle. That gap looks about the same, that looks about the same and I'll go for that. So there's that piece done and then I want to do the little frame around here so that's what this piece of macaroon is for and I'll put the large one first and then take the smaller one and just make sure that the gap around the outside is the same. If you find your um, mats are a little bit warped like mine, it is easier to tip them up the other way. That's better, that's gripping now. Right. I think that's um, good to go. So we just push that through. Okay, so that's going to be our frame. Save these two pieces. I'm sure they'll come in handy for something later on. Right, so that's a big shot done. We've moved that out of the way now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my stamping. And for the stamp set I'm using is the Friends and Flowers and I'm going to use the face there and that one there for the ears. Okay so I have those ready here and I'm going to be stamping in Smoky Slate. Now the reason I said about these two pieces, the sizes, this one is actually six inches um, long, um, but that's just what it happened to be. With the ear, if you stamp it like this, it will go into the punch nice and easily with wasting such just a small amount of paper. Um, 
if, if you don't plan which way you're going to do this then it can waste an awful lot you'll see what I mean if you haven't used this before so I haven't left much room in the measurements to space all these ears out but you need six of these that's right that's six and then we need three faces and then I'm going to allow myself one go at doing the Happy Easter um, and if it doesn't work nice and straight then I've got some spare ones up there that I've already done but what I wanted to show you with the um, where I've got this from I've taken the Happy Easter from the um, sheep here but what I did was when it arrived I cut my Happy Easter off because I can see that being used for um, other things as well as Easter like that's going to be great for new baby cards so what I did was I cut it off and I've put my sheep here and then I've put my Happy Easter here so I can still use the two together if I want to and the other thing that I find handy about this is let's do it on here it's easier for me to see because you know I struggle with trying to get straight lines so I'm just going to ink that up and I've practiced this quite a lot um, but I know if I get myself lined up like that as long as I've gone down straight then that is pretty there we go look that's quite straight isn't it how clever is that that's a real result for me so I will use the one that I stamped here in front of you. I will cut just a little bit off though because that's a bit too long for me. Right, okay. Now to do the punching, we do the ears first. And I'm using the Festive Flower Punch. It was in the Christmas catalogue, but I'm really pleased to see that it's been brought forward. Now I'm just going to put these in to line them up. And then stamp it, move it along. So now the only piece that you're wasting is the piece here where you've cut out a previous one. And just keep going like that. I didn't think about the last one. No, it's okay. Oops, try letting it go. Right. Right, let's see if I can find six ears here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. some shot right over there and now we need to cut these out not cut them rather we're going to punch these out and I'm using the one and three eighths circle punch Although I'm using mint macaroon for my surround and everything, I'm still going to do the rabbit in pink. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm using my um, Blushing Bride marker pen and I'm just going to 
colour in this section. Might have been an idea had I painted these, or at least done five of them beforehand. Never mind, they don't take too long to do. When you deal with these ears, um, it, whenever you use this punch, it does punch out one end is rounded and one end is quite pointed. So just make sure that you get all your points in one direction and the rounded bits in the other. It doesn't matter which way they go. In fact, I think for the rabbit, I'd probably prefer the rounded ones at the top. And what I did as well, I just drew a pink line on the whiskers. I saw that that was the way they had done it in the catalogue on a um, sample that they'd made using the rabbit. I mean the rabbit wasn't my idea. Um, and I just thought it added a nice extra little touch to it. So what I'm going to do now is my next favourite product is our um, Wink of Stella pens. And I did the ears. The thing is when you put photographs in, um, on, I put photographs on my blog, these kind of things don't always show up. But they do in real life. I can't believe that I'd never heard of Wink of Stella until Stamping Up bought them, put them in the catalogue and then everybody really started raving about them but they're beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a little bit across the nose, down the mouth and on the whiskers. On the eyes, I'm going to be using googly eyes, so I'm not going to do anything about those, but if you're not going to use googly eyes, you might want to put um, some Wink of Stella on there as well. There we go. Right, now to get the card all put together, I'm going to start by putting my Whisper White layer on here and I'm going to use Tombow I think I've picked up the empty one there let's try this one it feels a bit heavier Okay, so that, that bit. Now, what I need is to take my template, position that on where it's going to be going on my card, and then with a pencil, just draw very lightly on the inside. That way you know where you're going to be positioning the bunny rabbits. Now what I do is with the points upwards, there's two points. Oh, no, I want the round ones, don't I, on the bunny rabbits. I think the pointed bit looks better when you're dealing with leaves and petals. Okay, so that's it. No, that one's not okay. There we go. So what I do is just a little bit of glue 
on the fronts. In fact, that looks a bit too much on there. Wipe a bit off. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. If you want to fold them, uh, point them different angles, obviously, totally up to you. There's that one. So what I did was I laid, I did one at a time actually, laid one down to see how he was going to appear underneath. Okay, so I've lined this up again on my pencil mark, put this one in to see where I want him to go. So that looks fine, he's disappeared quite a bit more on that one. But that's okay. So holding him in place, that's going to put a line there because that's going to get covered up and that's going to show me where he's going to go. So that's where he should be comfortable. I had these up the other way, didn't I? So that's going to be fine for him. So the next one... That's it, okay. Tilt you sideways a bit. In fact, that looks quite nice having the ear coming out, doesn't it? I didn't do that before. What would you look like? Okay, tuck you in a bit. I know. Right, let's go and tuck that one in a bit. Leave his ear out like that. Now I've actually moved my. Uh, Top sheet, but that's okay. I'll just do a little line around there so I know where he's going. Oops. No, I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Because I'm going to put this top sheet on dimensionals. Okay, so he's going to have to stay down like that. Oops. And this one will be coming up here. Yep, that sounds like a plan to me. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put dimensionals on here. And I do put quite a few when I'm putting DSP onto dimensionals. I always feel it's such a shame when you go to a lot of trouble to make a beautiful card and then if you skimp on these and it all starts flopping it's such a shame. Off. 
This is a disadvantage of putting so many on. It takes a long time to take them all off again. Right, that's okay. Move all those out of the way. Before you do this, do remove your pencil mark. You may not be able to get your um, DSP back exactly where you drew it was when you drew your pencil mark round. Well, if you've removed your pencil mark, it doesn't matter if it's uh, if it's moved a bit. Okay. Go up a bit. Okay. I was a bit concerned about how the pink would look on this, whether it would look funny or not, but I think it's okay. Right, I'm going to put dimensionals on the ears and one at the back of the head but I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow right at the very bottom by his chin just to give him a bit of support on the edge here okay so he's going to go there right at the front this is like those two rabbits of photobombing the main rabbit. Okay, so let's have some uh, dimensionals, which is, where are they? Um, here we go. So does that mean to say I left them out? Well I'm not going to hold the video up because of some... Uh, well I can't find the um, googly eyes so he's go they're going to have to stay like that for the time being. I will have to do them off camera. Um, Okay, so the next bit I need to do is for the Happy Easter. And what did I do with that? Yes, that's dimensionals as well. Actually, it's not a bad thing to leave it without googly eyes because then at least you can see what they both look like and then you can decide which way you prefer. Oh, I know what I've done. Did you notice? I've forgotten to put this on. I wonder if I can get him up. Let me see if I can do that with my craft mark, my um, craft knife. Move my hand out of the way in case my knife slips. Oh, there we go. Oh well. <clears throat> Another Jambi blue blooper, rather. Well, at least that shows you um, how to get out of that kind of a predicament if you ever do the same. Let's leave that up. Slide this under. I'm going to have to go over this afterwards because I've just spread glue all over. And there we go. See, I've got glue here. But I'm not going to do anything with it now. I'm going to let it dry. And then it'll be quite easy to remove with my adhesive remover. 
and the last thing I'm going to do, these here, um, they came in the um, embellishment kit for the uh, Blooming Love, um, is it called Blooming Love embellishments? Um, and they're absolutely gorgeous, they've got little sparkly bits in, but only that colour. So what I thought I would use on this is I have some of these, um, what are we calling these? Candy dots. So I'm going to use the um, Garden Green. Let's use my paper piercer to bring these up. Oh, that distraction made me forget about my sentiment, didn't it? There we go, just three of these. Although it's a totally different colour, it still goes well with that. Uh, right, okay, in that, I'm not going to put the my happy Easter on yet. What I'll do is I'll do one. I'll come back and do those so that I can take that uh, glue off. There we go. Okay, so you've got to imagine that I've done all this correctly and properly. It's all nicely finished off. Okay, so there we go. Um, I personally think I prefer the googly eyes, so I'm going to have to find those and put them on. I'm quite happy with the pink and green, I think that looks quite nice um, and I'm particularly pleased with that as well because I think the colour goes really well. Anyway, I hope you like that project, I hope you give it a try. Um, many thanks for watching my video today, if you have any questions please get in touch, I'm always very happy to help. If you've enjoyed my video please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button which is probably on the right hand side of your screen or it may be below the screen. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that I featured here today please click on the 24 7 um, shopping link that's in the details below and that will take you straight to my 24 7 online stamping up shop. Many thanks for joining me today until next time happy crafting cheerio